Uh, I know I'm here to see music, and I know time lapses are stupid, no one really cares, but. Cinematography part three, no one gives a shit about your stupid time lapses. Uh, yeah, I like them, and it's fun, so. A few weeks back, I said that I wanted to do a shot out here so I could see the lake again. And look at this. Look how much it filled up. I'm so excited. I'm heading to a networking event right now. A friend of mine is hosting it and I really wanna go there and support her. It's also at the eBay campus. And I used to commute past the eBay campus like every single day. I've seen the outside hundreds and hundreds of times. But I've never seen the inside. So half the reason I'm going, if I'm honest, is because I just want to see what it's like on the inside. I'm also thinking about making a super last minute trip to Boise, Idaho. If I do it, what is it? It's like six o'clock right now. I would probably be leaving for the airport in less than 12 hours. I'm in this really fortunate position where I can pretty much set up and work from anywhere. For the last few years, I feel like I haven't really taken enough advantage of that. So. I'm making a push to really do a bunch of traveling this year. I have a friend who's a flight attendant and she said that Boise is one of her favorite cities. It's kind of a sleeper city. And she told me about that maybe a year or so ago and I've been wanting to go there ever since. I just found out yesterday that there's a music festival or it's like a music and art and food and film, um, like a hybrid festival that's happening this weekend in Boise. So I'm making a super spontaneous last minute trip. Uh, I barely unpacked from Miami, but I'm repacking my bag and jumping on the road again. I'm not gonna apologize, but I realized, I think I went a little overboard with the like go into the airport montage from Miami. So I'm gonna tone that back a little bit for this trip. <laughs> Made it to the airport. Here's my plane. It's so tiny. I made it to Boise. Check out this view. It's beautiful out here. lady at the desk was so nice. She got me a top floor room with a view of the Capitol. If I run over right now, I should be able to catch the act that comes on before George Clinton. And I gotta see George Clinton. But not to be morbid, but he's an older guy, you know? Who knows how long or if I'll have another chance to see him. Good morning. I am about to head out right now. There was a protest this morning at the Capitol building and it seemed like a lot of the same crowd. So it's kind of cool. Party at night and uh, protest in the morning. There's a music element to this festival, but there's also like a tech element. So I'm gonna go check out the tech. like I could film myself without being uncomfortable because so many people were taking photos of themselves and taking selfies. I even saw some people doing booty selfies, which if you think about it from like a human anatomy standpoint, it's pretty impressive. But here is it's similar because it's a film festival. So, so many people are filming just like a completely different vibe, but I'm not getting any weird looks running around with the camera. <laughs> Found 
the hippie section of the conference. That was pretty cool. I don't think people in there were taken too kindly to my Beaver Builder Lumberyard t-shirt. I hope they know it's a joke. I like trees. Man, there's some serious camera gear out there. Uh, like, like being a film festival. Again, what would be a good analogy? Maybe watches or fashion. Like, you know, if you don't know anything about nice watches, the difference between, you know, something you get in the bubblegum machine versus a super expensive, nice timepiece. Uh, it, it's hard to tell, I guess, unless you have like a little bit of education on it. The littlest dabbling I've been doing in camera gear and photo gear recently. Uh, I have a whole new appreciation for how much, how expensive some of this stuff is. And there is some like serious gear out there. Okay, so yeah, quick reset, head back down. Oh, what's happening? At three o'clock, so in like an hour, there's a live beer canning at the Ale Fort. That sounded kind of fun. I think I might check that out. <music> Uh, check it out It's snowing the first vlog I ever did or the second one was in Denver And it was the first time I ever saw it snow and now I'm here in Boise And this is the second time I've ever seen it snow. God, I get such a kick out of this last night kind of bounced around between a bunch of the little venues and found one to end the night that was just a rager. The place was packed. It was just a hot, sweaty, stinky dance party. I need to make a cup of coffee right now. Yep, it is in fact snowing. just walked all the way over here to get some b-roll of this thing and the wind stopped seriously come on Boise thought you were cool the sunset last night was a little bit of a bust but I have a feeling it's gonna be better tonight and I found a pretty cool spot I think to shoot it Assuming I don't get kicked out. Don't worry, he's cool. And that was a beautiful sunset. I'm so pumped. Uh, and I'm so cold. I've been up here for like 40 minutes. Last stop for tonight is to go sit down for a meal. I'm gonna get some barbecue, and then that's pretty much it. I leave tomorrow, head back home. I am packing out of the hotel and heading back home. Boise was a beautiful city. It's like got this small town vibe, but with an urban vibe. I didn't get to all that many restaurants, although I went to a place last night that was just phenomenal. So food, check, music, check, nature, check. I could definitely see myself uh, spending more time in this city. But for now, gotta go back home. <laughs> <laughs> 